Meanwhile, China is trying to open the Hell's Gate. You heard that right. China is trying to do something that is one, uncalled for, and two, can start a domino effect that can end up in disaster. Case in point, Meng Xiang. You remember this name? Meng Xiang is the name of a Chinese ship, and it's no ordinary vessel. Meng Xiang has been tasked with drilling through the Earth's crust. You heard that right. Drilling through the Earth's crust. That's what China wants to do. At least it hopes to and dreams to do that. Meng Xiang is Mandarin for dream. And what exactly do we know about the ship? It is 179 meters long, around 33 meters wide. The ship is capable of carrying cargo weighing up to 33,000 tons. The vessel has been designed to withstand strong tropical cyclones. But what really stands out about the ship is its drilling power. It is reportedly best in class. The drill can reach 11,000 meters below the sea surface. Meaning it is capable of drilling beyond the Earth's crust, penetrating into the mantle. A time for some quick geography here. This is the Earth. There's the core. It is 2300 kilometer layer of liquid. It is made up of lead and uranium. The mantle comes next. It makes up 84% of the Earth's volume and it is predominantly solid. And then you have the crust. That is the Earth's outermost layer, but it makes up only 1% of the Earth's volume. So far, all of our scientific explorations have been limited to the crust, and China aims to change that. It wants to drill into the mantle. The obvious question is why? Chinese scientists say they want to study tectonic plates. They want to study oceanic crust evolution, ancient ocean climates, and seabed resources. Now that seabed resources, is what you need to pay attention to. No one really knows for sure what lies under the Earth's surface. Is there life? Are there organisms, sources of energy perhaps? If so, China wants to be the first to tap into that resource. Some of you are thinking, how is it that no other country has thought of that before? You know, exploring the mantle. Actually, they have. As early as 1961, Geologists began drilling a, drilling a hole into the seabed of the Pacific Ocean. These geologists wanted to punch through the Earth's crust and reach the mantle, but they could not make it. These were American geologists. Their then president, John F. Kennedy, was more interested in reaching the moon and he invested in the Apollo missions. The mission mantle faced budget cuts. Also, it is a fact that the endless drilling did not lead these scientists anywhere. Researchers do have samples of the mantle. A lot of them are materials from erupting volcanoes. They are not pristine, and which is why China is trying to drill to a lair from where it can extract the chunk of the mantle, unsullied chunk of the mantle. Which brings us to our next question. How risky is this mission? There is a reason the layer separating the crust and the mantle, known as Moho, or the Morovic discontinuity, is often called the Hell's Gate. And that's because no one knows what awaits them under that surface. When China pierces through the mantle, will lava spray out like a volcanic eruption? Will the ocean floor be covered in volcanic rocks? Will large sci-fi creatures come along with? Scientists say nothing of that kind will happen. What will happen though is China will try to dominate not just the space but also the Earth's mantle. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.